hello everyone and welcome back to another video so it is monday and of course that means a brand new psychic awakening update and it is even more great news for you xenos fans because we have a brand new plastic incubi and this is basically going to be part of a brand new plastic incubi set so let's jump in let's take a look at the model and let's talk about it because more awesome stuff for you xenos players for this whole psychic awakening narrative the information that comes with it we've actually got some stats and stuff we've going over it says things continue to sound pretty bleak but brace yourself they're about to get a whole lot worse oh boy um if you were wondering last week who would be foolish enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an eldari exarch now we have the answer behold the clavet clavex am i pronouncing that? i'm good down. I'm, I'm horrible which is basically this 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 plastic um, um incubi set so yeah that's the model in the background it looks fantastic it, it really does look nice i really hate myself for saying that i do like these xenos models <laughs> i think it goes against everything i stand for but i am happy that you guys who when it comes to xenos stuff i know there's a lot of eldar players out there of course this is dark eldar so that's that's like new in, so that's basically confirmation now of models for eldar dark eldar and so i can probably see them going along with the whole Xenos thing and maybe, you know, uh, Tyranids, Necrons, Orcs, you know, getting new models and all that kind of stuff. I can definitely see, like, the path of the Xenos getting their fill of new models when it comes to your chaps' armies. It goes on to say that the impassive mass somehow pro uh, projects a murderous intent while his wide ready stance provides a real sense of menace. Attached to his armor's rearing spines, you can see the smashed spirit stones of the aspect warriors that the Clavex has cruelly plucked from those fallen to his blades. One of these uh, sacred stones is mounted on his brow, represents the first spirit that the Clavex claimed in battle to grant him entry into the Incubi Temple. I'm not too up to date with my whole Dark Eldar, Eldar lore. I just see these guys as like the bondage freaks of the Eldar race. So if anyone can like fill me in and give me some information, I'll probably go and read a wiki about them after this and stuff, then that would be um, pretty awesome of you. The more it states, it says the Clavex also bears a demi-clave, the signature weapon for the Incubi warrior of his rank, which can be wielded as a single fearsome weapon or divided into two smaller blades for tearing through more numerous foes. And this is the weapon stats that's actually got posted with the article as well. So this is a little preview of weapon stats. So um, uh, the claves, it says the single blade, which is melee, melee, strength plus one, AP minus five, and damage one. Now, if you want to put them together and do the whole Darth Maul dual blade kind of aspect, again, range melee, type melee, strength is a user, AP is minus two, and damage is one. But it says for the abilities of this, when the bearer fights with dual blades, it can make two additional attacks with this weapon. So I don't know, whatever profile you pick, um, the AP minus three is a bit, ooh, yeah, I'd, I'd like that kind of thing. But um, again, you know, two additional attacks can really, if the dice gods are on your side, you can probably do a little bit of damage, um, more so with that. Now, the first image of this whole article is uh, basically a new bit of the lore as well. Um, um, continuing and read into this as you will. I think I think it's from, from from what I read and what I got the sense of it. It's basically the Eldar like, oh crap, something something bad is about to happen. Like it, this, it's about to go down. It says, yet yeah, that was not the Nadir of our empire, not truly. Only now, as the ruinous powers stand on the edge of victory, so it's basically saying chaos are on the edge of victory. Do we see the truth? The events that tore the heart from our empire were a mortal blow. So I think he's talking about Slanesh there, the birth of the god, that kind of stuff. So that is that that is nothing to about what's about to happen. Um, and no one from which we have, uh, uh, sorry, and one from which we have never recovered. Yet only now, as the skies burn and the and the Daf Dane, I think that's what they call the Great Rift, bleeds madness across the stars, do we stare into the abyss of total oblivion. In our blindness, we did not see the threat. So again, they're basically saying, you know, they've, they, it's the Eldar being overlooking things, being stupid again, maybe looking the other way when they should have been looking left instead of right, you know, that kind of stuff. And um, it's, it, it's actually kind of kind of a big thing to see that, like, the, the they mentioned Slanesh as like a mortal blow, yeah, that was one of the big things, but the big thing is basically this, which is happening right now, this is, this is like the end if they do not win, so all, it's basically all, ev everything is on the line now, like with Slanesh, they were gliding along, but now, they have to win, or it is death 
for the race of the Eldar. Now, to finish off the article, of course, they have a nice little thing at the bottom. They say, um, check back next Monday for part three of this prophecy and a minute to reveal that you simply can't afford to miss so oh let's start taking bets now what is going to be next week i'm going to call a phoenix lord i'm going to call a brand new phoenix lord i'm going to say zanja or zanjir i'll be bloody pronounce her name we've had like the scorpion sorry we've had the banshees and stuff like that so i'm thinking maybe she's returning as a phoenix lord i know that is what the the whole rumor is at the moment and of course this is titled phoenix rising so surely there has to be a phoenix lord in there it'd be kind of hilarious if they called it Phoenix Rising and there was just no Phoenix Lords mentioned at all. I'd find that very, very funny and uh, quite, quite trolley off GW, um, I have to add. But there we go. Um, new model, a bit more added to the lore. What, guys, uh, do you think is going to be coming next Monday? Um, I'll let you you know plot away in the comments section down below i think it's a great model um i can't wait to see the rest of the set i can't wait to see the rest of the rules and uh, hopefully you dark eldar players you Drakari players as you're known as uh, at this moment in time um will like it as well tell me what you think if if you are a dark eldar fan if you're an eldar fan what do you think of this model do you like it do you hate it do you know do you know what i i, I first thought when i first saw it maybe it's just a paint scheme but i thought of the um uh the the class from World of Warcraft, what's it called? The Demon Slayer? I don't know why. Maybe it's... I, I think it's down to, like, the 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 painting on the blades and stuff. That, that's that's the first thing where, where my mind went to. It's like, ah, oh, it kind of reminds me of the Demon Slayer or Demon... Well, I forgot what it's bloody called now, World of Warcraft. They're, they're basically the demon character from World of Warcraft. That's what it reminds me of, anyway. Right, enough rambling for me. Um, tell me what you think, and we'll have a nice little chat in the comments down below. See you now, and bye-bye.